The Free State Education Department says it's doing its best to protect more than 2,300 matric exam markers against COVID-19. So far, one teacher has pulled out after testing positive for COVID-19 in the province. The department says it's pleased with health care measures that have been implemented at 23 marking centers in the Free State. Despite this, additional 10 teachers have also pulled out of marking, citing various reasons. Authorities expected the marking to be completed by uh, next Friday. For more on this, let's now bring in our reporter, Mahala Masiteng. A very uh, good day to you, Mahala. What's the latest? What can you tell us? Good morning, Desiree. Yes, we are coming live from outside one of the marking centers in Bloemfontein at Cray College. Um, what we understand is that the numbers have increased of those markers who have uh, withdrawn. We understand now the number is standing at 60 and those who have withdrawn because of testing positive for COVID-19, uh, the number is standing at 3 and the department has of course hired more than 2,000 markers um, uh, to, for, for, for this um, marking uh, and they are expecting to finish with a marking uh, next week, uh, Thursday. But we are joined by uh, the department spokesperson, Howard Ndaba, to take us through the latest uh, development. Uh, Mr. Howard, thank you very much for joining us. What is the latest development? Because I understand it is no longer 10 uh, markers who have, who have withdrawn. Well, firstly, I think let me take this opportunity to really on behalf of the department, express our gratitude, especially to markers who have shown commitment under this trying condition, but also to our partners, to the, your, your teacher union, your SGPs, and other partners who have shown, who have supported us, who are continuing to monitor us. It is very important to note that uh, this year, we have elevated marking uh, very high. It is, a, it is our apex priority, priority number one. That is why uh, the DG of the, of the National DG, Mr. Mueli, is crossing the country, monitoring uh, our, the, the compliance to COVID-19 to, to, to COVID regulation. Our MEC, Dr. Tatemar, has also do the same in the, in the province, making sure that everything, we don't, we don't leave any stone unturned. We are making sure that the safety of our marker is, is paramount. The latest development is that we have since have three COVID-19 cases where, where, where markers have been tested positive. As we, you will know that uh, we, have, we have since made sure that the two of them have been uh, uh, quarantined at their home. One is quarantined at, at the hospital to make sure that the, the, the marking runs smoothly. But fortunately, we have not experienced a surge in terms of marking in our marking centers. All our marking centers are still running smoothly and we're grateful for that. Now, what are the contingency plans in case of any emergency or any eventuality? Well, you we know that uh, we have got a pool of markers who, can, who, who, are, who are on standby, who will be able to come in if there's any, 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 any unforeseen circumstances. We'll make sure that we bring in, because our target is that by 21st of, of January, we are, we are done with marking, and on the, 20, on the 22nd of February, the, 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 the results will be will released by the minister. Now, I understand that there's a, a rotation in terms of making sure that there are no uh, any surge of infections. How, uh, how is the plan in the marking centers compared to last year? Because, of course, last year there was no COVID-19. As, as I indicated that we have, uh, we, this year, the health and safety protocol have been elevated. So each and every person Who's present, he, who is presenting he or herself at the marking center. is supposed to be screened, is supposed to make sure that he's wearing masks, because the wearing of masks is compulsory and is mandatory. He's supposed to make sure that he sanitizes his or her health. All those things are mandatory. Any, any, mark, any, any marker who is not doing that, that constitutes the misconduct. So we are very sure. And if another thing that is key that we have done this year, in terms of accommodation, where these markers are accommodated, they are not sharing room. In the, in the past, they were sharing room. We have made sure that they, they will not share room to make sure that there is no any, we are not taking any risk. So we are, we are confident that the system that we have put in place 
will really make sure that our makers and everybody in, in, inside the marketing center is safe. Just l lastly, um, we know that 2020 academic year was, was delayed due to COVID-19. Um, how prepared is the department for this year? This year, uh, the same thing that we remember last year we were, we were using various timetabling models, which include uh, platooning, making sure that uh, at least the school capacity is 50%. So if, if the learner is having 500, if the school is, a, the capacity of the school is 1,000, then only 500 will come to school. So, so they will exchange, some will come in the afternoon and some will come in the morning and vice versa. So we are, going to, we are still going to implement the same approach, making sure that uh, we follow all, religiously so, follow all necessary protocol. And with regard to that 60 uh, uh, markers who, who, have, who have withdrawn, we, we, it is true that about six have withdrawn, but they've given us various reasons. That includes some of them have resigned from the department, some have got a pre-arranged uh, uh, holidays, S some have decided just to, with to withdraw. But we, we, that has not impacted negatively on the marking because we have a pool of highly experienced markers that in, in our reserve. Um, let me just put you in the corner. We, we have seen in the past years Free State has been doing well in terms of results. This time around, are you confident that the province will still perform well? We are, we are very confident, owing to what we have been doing, the support that we have given to Alena, the support that the parents have given us. We are confident that we still perform well, even though we, had, we were working under very difficult. Remember, during the lockdown period, we have various interventions. We have community radio station broadcast, we have online broadcast, we're giving learners some uh, previous question papers. So we are confident that you, Come, 20, come, come the 22nd or 23rd, the 23rd of February, our result, to, our learners will make us proud. That is why we are saying, even though we are, we are still under this condition, we are going to make sure that on the 23rd of February, we acknowledge and pay tribute to the class of 20 to the class of 2020, because they've made us proud, they've been resilient under very trying and difficult conditions. We're proud of them and we wish them all, all the best. Uh, just lastly, I remember last year when uh, learners were coming back after lockdown, there were psychologists in place just to make sure that if learners do get uh, in, infected or affected by the COVID-19, they will have uh, the support. Are those still in place? Yes, they're still in place, even in our marking centers who are providing that psychosocial support to our markers those who, who, who are infected or affected. We will also continue to do the same to our, to our learners. Remember, even in our marking centers, we, we, we have also have sick bays that are there. So if there's any suspicion that uh, a particular marker is not feeling well, it can be isolated at the, at, at the sick bay, and we will then call the Department of Health to intervene to assist us to give that professional support to us. Uh, there you have it. Thank you very much. That is uh, the spokesperson of the Department of Education in the Free State taking us through some of the measures and the latest development. Um, as he mentioned that 60 of markers did withdraw, but for various reasons, we only have three of those who have withdrawn because they have tested positive for COVID-19. But they are confident that with the measures put in place, um, everything is under control and they will be able to finish marking next week Thursday and of course he is mentioning again Desiree that uh, they remain confident despite the challenges uh, presented uh, by the COVID-19 that the free state will continue uh, uh, to perform well uh, come the release of, of results in, in February and uh, he, he did mention again that they are well prepared for 2021 academic year of course they will continue with that system of rotating learners to make sure that there is social distancing in, in schools with that is back to you Desiree. Thank you very much and how things have changed usually at this time of year uh, conversation would be a buzz with the results but now we're talking about marking instead.